the internet came into existence and helped us discover a brand new frontier, a brand new way of life, a brand new, I don't know, what's the word I'm searching for? A brand new realm of existence. This new frontier always existed. This new frontier was not invented by the internet. It was dis the internet helped us discover a frontier that had existed since the beginning of time. And for lack of a better phrase or term, I'm going to call that new frontier, that new world, the digital world. You see, the digital world has always existed. It was sitting around waiting for human beings to find it, to discover it, and to begin to take part in it. But it's not something that the internet created. The internet was the vehicle that helped us discover that there is this realm called, that we call the digital world. And ever since the internet, via the internet, we discovered this new realm, this new world, this new frontier has been sucking our more and more of our lives into this new realm. More and more of our existences have been pulled into this new world and continue. And, and, and more and more of it continues to be sucked into this new world called the digital world. The digital world has claimed our mail. There was a time where mail used to be delivered by um, the pon ponies and ships and birds and carriages, vehicles. Today, there's far more world, there's far more mail that exists in the digital world than in the physical world. Our mail has been sucked into this new frontier, this new world. And our photos, I've talked about this a thousand times. Our photos, by and large today, are all digital. When's the last time you actually picked up a physical photo, held it in your hand, rubbed your finger along the edges of the actual photo itself, touched the face on this photographic piece of paper? When's the last time you've done that? Some of you have never done that. I'm willing to bet you have more digital photos which you've never touched, never felt, never actually seen in the physical world. You have more of those photos in your phone today than in any album that's sitting in your home or your mother's home or your grandparents' home. Today, I have over 50,000 photos in one of the phones Actually, the phone that I'm speaking on you now, over 50,000 photos. And that's not including the videos. Our photos have been cleaned by this new world. They used to exist in large part in the physical world. And they have been sucked into this brand new realm, this brand new frontier. Some of us have... Some, most of us, our movies have been sucked into the digital world. I remember leaving my trading office on Wall Street on a Friday, rushing to grab one of the 21 new releases that came out at the nearby Blockbuster of a brand new movie that was just going to hit the shelves in Blockbuster on Friday. And I remember doing my best to rush to the, 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 the closest blockbuster I could get to because they had announced they were getting 21 
I'm just using that number because of 21 million Bitcoin, but whatever the number is, a limited number of copies in first come, first serve. Today, there are millions upon millions of movies that we have access to that we no longer touch, feel, actually see in the physical realm. Our movies, our music, our photos, our mail, and some of us even have deeper relationships that can be regarded as digital than the actual physical relationships we have in the physical world. I, ha I am close in many different respects and regard a number of people that I've never met in my life, but we spend time together through our daily activities every single day in the digital space, in the digital world, and they mean something to me. I care about them. And yet I've never laid eyes on them. I've never shaken their hand. I've never gone to their home, never looked them into the eye, and, and I've never looked them in the eye. And so my point in explaining all of this is that the dematerialization of our physical existence has been going on for the last several decades. More and more of our lives have been sucked into a, a world that always existed, but the, that we relatively recently discovered via the internet. The internet was the vehicle that helped us voila, see that this brand new world, which, is, which has always existed, is now available to us. And it's consuming the physical world.